Welcome to another episode of the Back Catalog Podcast. My name is Apo, this is Vincent, and today we are doing 2016's very own Shin Godzilla. And we're here, man. We're here. I'm going to give you some facts, Vincent, then we're going to get into this. You thought I was going to let you say something, but we're going to get into this, all right? This has got the 6.8 out of 10 on the IMDb. It's got the 86% on the Rotten Tomatoes. Now, in regards to budgets and box offices, it had a budget of 1.3 billion Japanese, the currency, you know, I yen. think it's yen, yes. Yen. Let's, let's um, just do a quick, let's just do a quick 1.3 billy, uh, billion. Tell me about what 1.3 billion yen is. It's 13 million Australian dollars. Now, this is at a 2024 exchange rate. That's right. So please take that with a grain of salt. This is not financial advice. Continue. And at a box office of 78 million, and that's USD. No. That's USDs. I'm going to give you a synopsis, then we'll jump into it. And I'm also going to tell you why Shin Godzilla is rated R, Okay. A gigantic creature emerges from the sea and destroys the city of Tokyo. Shin Tokyo, if you will. The government officials must come up with a plan to destroy it quickly as its strength is evolving very rapidly. And we're here. And we're here. Now, just before we get into this movie and we chat about the movie, because that's what we do here, I want to give you an understanding as to why... Shin Godzilla is rated R. And, now, we just, is- and we just also just want to shout out just spoons in general. Because you think about <laughs> you, you go through your day to day life, you you don't you don't really you take these things for granted. Yeah, yeah. And spoons, you know, shout out spoons. Like think about this past week, how many times you use your spoon? Bro, I've been using spoons. You've been using them. I, I use a spoon today. Ain't no way. I use a spoon. Me too. I put my my, my four my four wheat bix. I put some cocoa pops in there because I've been I've been doing the cocoa pops and wheat bix combination. It's getting a bit of sweetness in there. I'm getting a bit of because I have been really enjoying the cocoa pops, but yeah. I just cannot do that to me because health is wealth. And Uncle Eddie wouldn't be happy, dude. Uncle Eddie was in my house telling me, <laughs> "Bro, you better put some wheat bix in that in that." <laughs> Like chuck some wheat bix in those Coca Pops. Yeah. You that's know? What said. That's, that's what, what Uncle said. Eddie said. That's what Uncle Eddie said. I'm gonna tell you what movieguide.org said. Movieguide.org. So the reason that movie Shin, guide or movie guy? Guide. Like it's guiding you through the movies. It's guiding you well, you need to walk through. Well, you need to walk through to the ensure IGN, that IGN, hey man, I'm stuck on this level on, on Shin Godzilla the movie. IGN, like top 10 reasons Resident Evil 5 is racist. <laughs> you see that? We'll talk about that on the after dark. No, we'll, talk about <laughs> we'll talk about that on the after The back catalog after dark. The, the original after dark. Let them know, man. Let them know. Many people out here taking names. Yeah, all right? nah, come on. But this we should have trademarked it, but it's okay. it's okay. We didn't have the funds. We but still now, don't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we got them, but they just, they just come in slowly. All right. The reason that it is rated R is it contains strong... Pagan content mixed with some moral and patriotic elements, false theology and references to evolution. <laughs> so, okay, so hold on, let's let's break this down because otherwise I'm gonna break down. Dude, I think I think movieguide.org, like they're they're an organization that maybe I think they had early access to Chat GPT. It could be. Because that sounds like absolute garbage. Hey, has a very strong mixed pagan worldview. That's what they're telling me. That's what they're telling Were me. Were there any religious elements in this movie that you can recall? The fact that they refer to it as God and Zilla. I mean, know. you know, I'm a man who has gone through this, the schooling, uh, <laughs> you know, the uh, system. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I asked that question and I feel like an idiot now. Well, that's okay. Because it's like, God in the name. Because like Lady Godiva, you know, like are people, people up in arms about Lady Godiva. I mean, I don't know what kind of diving she's doing, but I don't know her. Like she could dive though. She could dive. She you, could you, dive? You could put her in the World Cup. The World Cup of diving? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying for Italy. Oh, you know, oh dude, you know? nah, see, I don't even know she'd get in that team. <laughs> she would get in that I don't team. think she'd get in that team. Because you got to be, you got to be top level diver there. Yeah, yeah. They got heads on the sidelines. So Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was funny to me that it that it probably should have been. But <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that hasn't been a thing at 
at games because you know diving's you know you you, you get heads that that looks like that like you know they, they've they've coined the tame the t- term like hey this is a, a full on de floor nominee. That's pretty killer, isn't it? That's crazy. You haven't heard that before. No, I haven't heard that. Jeez, I saw one today. Oh, you about. didn't you didn't make that no, up? No, I didn't make that up. No, no, I didn't make that up. No, 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 no. Dude, I'm thinking here. I'm not, like, ta- I'm not taking credit for things that someone else coined. You know, we're not those, we're not that type those type of guys. No, because other people will do it, but we other, won't. But we, be, better men like ourselves will not. Because what is imitation? It's the it's the highest form of flattery. That's exactly right. But like, now, I'd rather get paid. That's, his, <laughs> that's right. And if you want to pay movieguide.org, it's a 501c3. So all donations are tax deductible. And you can do this. The minimum donation is $25. You got $10. Oh, sorry. $10, $25, $50, and $100. Yeah. So anyway, if anyone wants to go to an, uh, an Italian national team game, you know, with a few mates <laughs> and just have things. And when people dive, just put the 10s up. I mean... You, you'll be making money after that. You will be making money. That's the virality of man. That's how you go viral. That's it. We, we put it out there, but we won't take that from you. No, that's no. right. That's right. Because we, we give the people, you know, feed a man a fish, you, you, you feed him for a day, teach him to fish, and, you know, it wastes a lot of time, whatever. That's, that's exactly right. Which, Let's get into Shin Godzilla because we're, he, we're here to talk about the movie. Yeah. And uh, I, could, I could, essentially, I could say to you, that was bureaucracy. And this has been the back catalog. Like, we could end it there. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know I mean? we watched this when it basically... Did we watch this in the cinemas? We watched this 2016 in the cinemas, limited release in South Australia. That's we watched wild. It. Did we watch it at Palace Nova? I, I don't feel, remember where I we feel watched like, it. I thought it was on O'Connell Street. I, that's, I reckon it was at Piccadilly. It but might have been at Piccadilly. It might have been at Piccadilly. We went into a cinema. There was about, I'd say, about seven people in there, yeah, including yeah, yeah. us. Including us, it was. Did it we was, just go us too? Were there? We, did we have other, any other? We heads? didn't have any other heads. Just me and you. Heads, just me and you. And um, we walked into this movie. Did you take me out to dinner before or after? I think it was dinner and the show. So the Godzilla was the show. I know? like that better. I like that better because then you, you're in the show and you go, oh, "Man, oh, this dude hasn't fed me. I'm starving. <laughs> I can't focus on this movie." But also, if movie trash, you at least know like you can go somewhere after. Hey, you can go home after. Yeah, that's but true. But see, there's, a, there's also a good reason to do it first. Yeah, yeah. Because you talk about the movie. You talk about the movie. I would prefer that now. Do you really, you got to do dinner, show, and then another dinner. Maybe you do dessert. Yeah. I've, dinner, show, and dessert. Uh, yeah, the dessert, I'd, I'd rather go get, I don't know, like chicken tenders or something after. Dinner, show, and a chicken tender. D- Hey, babe, we're going to yeah. go out for dinner show and chicken tenders. <laughs> Feel free to use that. Anyone out there, you can use that. You can use that. Like, we won't use that here, but you can use it. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, dude, one of the best things, you know, you, you go up, this is a blind date, right? Because you and I, we regularly go on blind dates. And I'm blind. And you're blind. Uh, so you just take your glasses off, you roll in. Yeah. You're like, I could be watching Shin Godzilla. <laughs> I could be. I, I don't know. I could be. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It might be it might be a Godzilla, it might be a seven point six meter crocodile. Dude, it could be, and the best thing about it is like you wouldn't be able to see the subtitles either. So you're just hearing Japanese people talk, you're like, yeah, it could be Godzilla. That's right. It it it'd be the same situation when we watched District Nine from that absolutely sketch <laughs> DVD I got from from uh, some holiday I went to in Southeast Asia. <laughs> nah, nah, trust, bro. You're not meant to hear what they, the uh, aliens are saying. The aliens say a whole lot in this yeah, movie. Are, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, Shin, Shin Godzilla? No, no, no. It's just, just bureaucracy. You know, really, Godzilla's the thing. Yeah, you just got to hear about what President Joe Biden says like <laughs> at parts of this movie. <laughs> We're going to get into the fact that like there's pres- there's American presidents in here who are just like shady folk. Yeah. it's it's. I mean- one of the things that I realized upon rewatching this movie that I, I don't I don't know if I realized it at the time we watched it in twenty sixteen. Is this the second time you've watched it? This is the second time I yeah, watched okay, it. Yeah, okay, same, same. This is twenty sixteen's very own, now it's twenty twenty four for me. I didn't realise how much of a comedy this movie is. A like comedy? this movie is a comedy. Really? A hundred percent. Like the bureaucracy because like when you see all the little things that yeah, happen. Yeah, actually, you know what? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. It, it is. I mean, I, it feels like a satirical, yes, yeah, political kind of comedy. And it's it's one of those things where it's like they they have to make decisions. You know, there's there's Godzilla. He's got googly eyes. He's come to the city. <laughs> We're going to talk about the <laughs> talk about the design of Godzilla as we progress. Oh man! But there's parts where it's like, uh, we got we got eighteen heads in a room. Yeah. Right? The best is the <laughs> subtitles. Well, well, I mean, I had I had to go through like three different sets of subtitles. Yeah, on, on where we found it on oh, Amazon. On where we found it on, on, Amazon. A, on Amazon. Yeah. 
Jeff, you know, sort your stuff out. Get off the yacht and sort your subtitles out. Because some of them would be, oh, this is Defence Secretary, this guy. Oh, this is the Agricultural Minister, this guy. And it'd be, you'd be like 15 people talking. You'd be like, oh, okay, all right. We've got the whole cabinet here then. And it's just like, it's just text. Yeah. It's just text. It's that's, just text. That's how it was during the movie when we watched it. That's wild. Because they would not only have the text of the of the subtitles of the people speaking, but they'd also have like the text saying, hey, we're in the board of this. Or yeah, we're, we're, we're here. This is the guy that's speaking. Okay, there's another guy that's speaking. That's exactly right. Yeah. One of the things that I think is, this is these are some of the reasons why I think there's some, there's some comedy in this. You know, you've got this room full of 18 heads. And to come to a decision, it's like, hey, and then they go to the next guy. Hey, t- tell this man this. All right. Hey, tell this man this. All right. Mm. Schedule a meeting for five minutes. Okay, we're in this room. And it's also funny because the prime minister sits on a little table with, I'm guessing, the, the more higher up people. And then there's a bigger table with, you know, like 30 heads. And it's they're talking, but... They're almost just like talking straight and they're talking to a guy in the next room. Yeah, because they, 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 they can't be doing these ones for some well, reason. Schedule a meeting for five minutes. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's go to the let's go to the boardroom. That's the funniest thing. Okay, let's go back to the cabinet room. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, hey, this, this problem's gotten bigger. We've got to go to the boardroom. You know what? We've got three heads in here now. See, this is why you should do show, then dinner. This is why you do show, then dinner. This is why you do show, then dinner. Yeah. Because, you know- I was coming into this going, man, this is just like bureaucracy simulator 2016. Like out the wazoo. Literally, most of the movie is them in suits. I mean, the suits look good. The yeah. suit looks good. Everyone looks, you know, Everyone looks Dude, Everyone I, was, looks good. I was thinking like, this is bureaucracy. This is the, 100% this is the bureaucracy. Yeah. And there was there was Godzilla in it for a few bits. And the Godzilla bits were wild. <laughs> but most of it was just this guy who was some politician and then he comes up with a plan to you know do things and then he's- Hey, yeah, I want to be prime minister one day. Hey, man, look, I'm, I'm a lady that works for an American yeah, president. I'm, I'm American, but I'm, I'm my grandmother is homeland, and I'm speaking American at some points. Which and you're speaking American, you're speaking English at yeah, some points. Speaking, that threw me. That threw me. And I don't know. You know, I'm not a man who understands Japanese culture. I don't know if they they threw in some some English here for for some sort of I don't know emphasis or whatever. Mm. But it threw me in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, well, let's just just quickly one of the uh, like uh, you know the bureaucracy and whatnot and the, and the comedy. One of the funniest things is the fact that they there's 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 a scene especially when like the uh, the initial things start happening when there's all like the you know waves and things happening in the, in the water. They don't know what's going on, um, and they've moved to about six different rooms in the matter of like ten minutes of, of film time. <laughs> you know, this Man. is and you're thinking like. Not only are they doing that, but heads are saying like, I don't know what to do. Like, even the prime minister at one point, he's like, are you telling me? I know I should know what to do. <laughs> you have to make a decision. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So I, I think there's, I think there's some satire in here, but you know, beyond that, really, as you said, like there's this, this is a two part movie. There's bureaucracy and then there's Godzilla. And I think, you know, when you come to a Godzilla movie, you, you want to see Godzilla. There needed to be more Godzilla in this movie. There, needed there definitely be. needed to be. There wasn't enough people running away from Godzilla. There was, I think there was only one scene that was actually people running away from Godzilla. The the goat tier Godzilla, this is goat tier Godzilla, right? Goat tier, goat tier. Is Godzilla rolling into a city. People screaming, things falling down. People in people in cars going like this, the car shaking, <laughs> right? <laughs> Arms are waving, the car shaking. <laughs> Godzilla, and you know, you haven't seen the movie. I have seen the movie. Godzilla minus one. It is everything that this movie yeah, see, we'll, wanted we'll, to be. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get that in the pipeline because ah, Beekeeper's still in the pipeline. I mean, we, look, we, we, may, we may do Beekeeper next we, week. We we have spoken, uh, you know, uh, ad nauseum uh, outside of the podcast about how, <laughs> dude, on my end, the pipeline pipeline broke. <laughs> it's it's like you're on South Road in the morning and you're like, hey, I just need to get to my office job that I have to commute 45 minutes because South Road is the the worst piece of uh, infrastructure. automotive infrastructure yeah, that yeah. the world has ever produced in in South Australia. I don't I don't imagine it's the worst in the world. No, and they're like pipe broke, <laughs> water mains broke. Sorry, down to one lane. <laughs> like ice cream machine broke, so like we got to close things down. Like McDonald's ice cream machine broke. It's on South Road. I got to close this down, dude. After you know, I'm I'm a man that works from home a lot of the time. I yeah. don't I don't have a f- a very long commute when I go into the office. Or especially when you go home. Like if you're working from home, your commute very short. 
I mean, it's actually longer because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I've got to get up. Oh, I've got to eat breakfast. Oh, maybe I eat breakfast. All right. Oh, I better have a shower. What's time? Oh, it's 11.30. <laughs> oh. Man, this commute taking a while. Dude, this commute <laughs> far out. Hey, you missed the meeting. Yeah, man, got on the road traffic. Because <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm a man all about routine, so if, even if I'm working from home, I get on the road, I come back home. I get on the road. I do a lap, I come back. I had water mains. You know, the, water, the, the pipeline broke. Dude, South, what did you South want me to do? <laughs> South Road, don't you live like West? Yeah, yeah, but you know. Here's the thing, right? We we hear, and we used to say, we don't say it anymore, but we'd say the listener and the viewer. It's just the listener is what you're trying to tell people. That's so right. The pipeline bro. Pipeline bro. <laughs> it's, you know, possibly, possibly we get the construction crew, we'll pay them overtime, we'll do some night works. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought YouTube, like, they didn't want us to voice our opinions. You know, I thought YouTube they was trying to hold down. us down. I thought yeah, they would yeah. shut us down. The 13 people that were watching, they were like, these 13 people, <laughs> we can't expose them to this kind of content. Because like that's that's how things start. You it's know, really, start. you think about civilization, it didn't start with it didn't start with but 13 people. <laughs> you know. <laughs> now we're a Billy Strong, you know? <laughs> Dude, you heard it here first. <laughs> we started with but 13 people. And look at us now. <laughs> Look Dude. at us now. There's like six people in the house here. Dude, there's six people in this house. That's what I mean. Is, is a Billy Strong out there? Is a Billy Strong? You know, like they may as well call him Williams at this point. They, might. you know what I mean? Because the billions are so big, they got to call him William. <laughs> Let's get into Godzilla. Let's and get what? Into Godzilla. <laughs> what? So this, this, you know, I mean, this movie starts off with a early form of Godzilla. Uh, Coming, coming to the city and, and, and messing things up. Well, it starts off with the they some some I don't know foreshadowing, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, the dude that ends up being a guy that predicted Godzilla. Mm-hmm. They go to his boat in the middle of the ocean. Ain't no ain't no man well, in the not boat. Well, in the middle of uh, Tokyo Bay. Yeah. Ain't no man in the boat. It's ain't, like some Jurassic Park three sort of business. Just a boat, no one in there. Just a boat, no one. Dude's got his his shoes all nice and. Thing he's got his his papers, he's got his business papers, he's got his origami crane on there. Mm-hmm. Ain't no guy in the boat. Godzilla. It was a cool start. It cool was a cool start. start. It's a cool start because it's ominous. It's ominous. That's you're right. thinking what what's going on, and and you know a lot of that is shown through. Uh, you, you you see you see all sorts of news reports at the start. You see all sorts of yeah. You're in the tunnel. People swerving in the tunnel. There's like blood going through. That's right. And then you're thinking like, what is this going to be? Because you, I mean, you know it's Godzilla. Yeah, you, you know you you seen the movie title. Unless you go in there with no glasses, <laughs> you've seen the movie title. You know what you're coming in. You, you know what you're coming into. <laughs> but I, I think still, even though you know what you're coming into, it's good to have those scenes where it's like, wait, wait, hey, what, what kind of Godzilla are we getting here? That's the thing because there's so been so many iterations of Godzilla, and they've all been different. You know, there's been there's been there's Godzilla times Kong, there was Godzilla versus Kong, and then there was a Godzilla I mean, Godzilla versus times Kong. Kong. Like you need a degree to do that equation. You can't do that without a calculator. And I'm talking about graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then we get the first iteration of Godzilla because the whole thing is Also, that graphics calculators were such a scam at school. We didn't even use them to their full potential. Uh, we did not even use them to- They were like 200 bucks. They're, they're expensive. And you, you know what I mean? You can even- Because see, the thing is, like a man now knows that you can put in all the equations to the graphics calculator, press a button, you got it. <laughs> they did. <laughs> you know? They did. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but anyway- Godzilla rolls into Tokyo and Godzilla sort of shaped like maybe it, like it, a stegosaurus. It is a, yeah, yeah, it kind of is. But there, it didn't happen very quickly. You didn't see it him until like 20 minutes in. No, that's right. Roughly. Yeah, you, you saw you saw some videos online because that, that initially when they're talking about what's going on here, they think yeah, it's yeah, volcanic yeah. eruption or this and that. The main guy says, hey, I've seen a video online. It's, it's, there's there's some, some, some sort of animal. Which Some is hilarious because I think that's also, I mean, it may or may not be, you know, it might be just the curtains, they were just blue. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they've got all these politicians in this, you know, all the all the people making the decisions. And, you know, you look at like one TikTok and you go, dude, that's, a, that's not a 7.6 million crocodile. That's not a 7.6. And then you see some guy just dancing in the next one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And you guess- go, oh, go, go back, go back. <laughs> Can we pause it? Oh, I'm not logged in. <laughs> they then... You know, then Godzilla. Well, then there's like a tail and things, and they realize like, nah. I liked there's, there's when it went through there. the the 
canals all the boats and all the flying. boats were flying. Yeah. Dude, that was cool. I think it was very cool. And, you know, when you – and when you watch when, – when, when we get to watching Godzilla Minus One – you'll see that there has been a definite upgrade in regards to the special effects. Yeah, I, I could um, I could very clearly notice that it was all CGI. Yeah. But you know what? I think I think most of the time you just you just go, all right, that's that's whatever. That's what it is in this movie. I also think it gets better as the movie progresses, as Godzilla's form becomes a bit more yeah. almost a bit more um like his form is a bit more his An- form it looks is a bit anime. more a bit more rigid as well. Yeah, it's it's the ending, I forgot how the my only memory of this movie was Googly Eyes Godzilla at the, at the start, yeah, which is hilarious, <laughs> which is hilarious. But at the end, he he turns into something from literally like the anime, the manga that would have been out. It it, it was crazy. You, you see, you see this like just weird ass, almost oh. human like creature come out of this Godzilla, like these these round faces with teeth and whatnot. You know oh, what I mean? Man. It was, and I think that's what. What makes this movie cool? And I mean, we talked about this. T- we talked about satire. We talked about satire, you know, because we, we'll, we'll, we'll pick that up. Well, pick well that you up. will. You will. I won't. But we pick it up together because we, we're a team. That's right. Because we yeah. do. We do dinner, and then we do the show. That's right. <laughs> no, we do the show, then dinner. We will choose one of the. We we'll choose other. one of the. It depends anyway. on how we're feeling. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, if I'm hungry, I'm doing. I'm doing dinner first. I'm doing. Dinner. You you get to these these points where Godzilla's in the movie, and I think that he it's placed like really well at different times in the movie mm. that you're like, oh man, we're in bureaucracy for a while. And then when Godzilla hits, Godzilla hits. Like when Godzilla comes through with the first atomic breath, uh, the uh, atomic oh, blast man. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, it's doing that and then it starts doing out its spikes and you're just thinking, how could this get any wilder? Then the next time it starts doing out its tail, dude just – it, it just, it just – How many orifices you got, Godzilla? It got, I mean, he had one more. Godzilla had one more. They didn't use it. And then you're thinking, okay, how are they going to bring back Godzilla at the end and make it bigger than they've already made it? Like it's done the atomic blast. He's been doing big things. And then as you said, it becomes some sort of, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain. It, it, you just, I think you just got to go Google, Google Images <laughs> and just look at it. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. You just got to look at it. Yeah. It's also, I, I, I don't know if this was a, a decision that they – actually made but the way that it moves when they had the big wide shots of it doing all the atomic blasts and things yeah. like that it felt like the you know the fps was a bit lower it was a bit more uh what's the what's it like stepped i don't know no uh, I, I and i think that's what when you said it was anime i think that's what it makes was, it feel it was like cool. that it was really yeah. cool you also can't look in a godzilla movie there's something that you can't look past and i think this is something that the Newer Godzilla movies, as in the sorry, the Western Godzilla movies, do not do as well. The theme, the theme when Godzilla comes through, yeah. You know, Simon Says get the yeah, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Is that from that? So the original is from the original. Uh, it's I think it's from Godzilla vs Mothra, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's also in this movie. It's I feel it's almost taken down a notch, and maybe it was because of the the space yeah, I was watching I, doesn't have I the best speakers. Uh, I didn't realize. I yeah. I, I don't know the Godzilla theme as a recognizable thing. When you see Godzilla come back, sort of in that almost final form, mm. when he's in the middle of Tokyo Bay, just standing up, like you know, just standing there. That's, right? that's one of the best parts when it's just it's just there, it's just and standing. you're just going like, what What is it doing? <laughs> but that theme starts to kick in yeah and i remember being in the cinemas and i was like oh man i'm not really enjoying this movie and then seeing that part and i was just like i sunk back into my chair and i was like this is a movie <laughs> vincent p- put your glasses on <laughs> dude that that part and i mean i hate to be the guy that says it but in godzilla minus one there's about 18 parts where you're just like this is a movie Jeez. Yeah, like I'm not rating that here today, but I, I'd, I'd give that close that because, to a ten. I'd give it close to a ten, dude. I've been looking, I've been looking for that movie, and apparently there's, you know, you, people have been telling me there's. I mean, you, you've been I telling told, me I told you. that there's been publishing rights, distribution rights, issues. I mean, there's no pipelines. More, there's, that, it pipelines. It's pipelines. pipelines, and it's hurting the consumer. Because here's the thing: if it was available, if it was available for forty dollars right now, forty dollars, I would purchase it. That's what I'm saying to people. And I would go to your house and watch it <laughs> go to my house. 40 bucks. 
<laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, so I spent thirty six dollars on sushi yesterday, I and know, way it dog. was a mistake. I, I, I messed. Yeah, you got too many sushi. I got too many sushi, dude. I mean, it was good sushi. It was unreal. So you just like I got to eat more sushi now. I just got to eat more sushi. That's nothing wrong with that, you know. I mean, mercury levels. You might end up looking like Godzilla by the end of it. Yeah, dude. The amount of tuna that I've, I've been eating. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's good protein, though. Yeah, it's good protein. It's good yeah. protein. Like Uncle Eddie would be happy that there's protein in your diet, you know? Uncle Eddie, yeah, he, he <laughs> helped me get my wheat big situation sorted with the Cocoa Pops. Yeah. And then he saw me spend $36 on tuna and he goes, look, you may have, you know, you may have uh, overextended yourself uh, fiscally, mm. but it's protein. But I mean, you've hit your protein goal you've in one meal. you hit your protein goals. Yeah, that's right. And I just stood up and I just uh, <laughs> did feel good. Man. You became lap man, I like just lats lap- pop. Yeah. <laughs> Doing these ones, Vincent. Why are you stand standing like what? I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta explain it to people, like you know, verbally. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like this, this people. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be in the, it's coming to the pipeline. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This week, you know, last few, last few weeks, a bit. Well, pipeline been broke. I say last few weeks. The pipeline been broke for like two months. It's been a while. It's, it's, <laughs> I don't know if we've. I think we've uploaded maybe one since we started back. I think the last one was. Talk to me, and then the one before talk, that talk to me was ain't what being was uploaded. What, no 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 what was before talk to me face off I think that was face off the ain't being first uploaded. one that wasn't uploaded yes yeah yeah, yeah. so we're like four or five deep face off done it's done it's it's yeah. it's you know no they're all gonna get uploaded at okay, some they'll point get uploaded. I've got the I've got the I've got the means <laughs> just you know now let's is there any anything further you'd like to say what would I like to say what would I like should to we say? talk about President Joe Biden being like a you reckon the Japanese people like you reckon they could do some dodgy business on the side with me? Yeah, I I didn't re- <laughs> I wasn't following that kind of stuff because I know that he, was it the president and her, his daughter. I don't think it was his daughter. The daughter was a, a, a daughter of someone in the you know political in, in bureaucracy in, in some in bureaucracy. This is a yeah. daughter of bureaucracy. That's right. And she yeah she was I don't know liaising between Japan and and the US and so that part was kind of. It went over my head. A bit. I mean, I, I think maybe they were just like, "Hey, man, we just got to make fun of some. We got to make fun of some Americans, you know." Yeah, yeah. I did like how they go. Okay, yeah. There's going to be an alliance to do this. You know, US and Japan. The US heads come in. There's four of them. Then go in. You got a scene with them going. Oh yeah, okay, yep, no worries. And then the Japanese people are talking Japanese. The next scene is like them looking at the screen and going, "Yeah, now they're on their own," and just walk out. <laughs> I mean, what can you do, dude? Like, you, you do? see something like Godzilla, you leave. You leave immediately. You, you leave. I'm you not. Leave. I'm not messing around with that. I'm like, look, dude. I mean, it's it's a big flight back to America, so like, I don't think Godzilla's gonna make it anytime yeah, soon. Yeah, I got. I got a meeting. I got work meetings. Like, my commute already long enough. Like, I'm you already started, dude. My commute already. Like, started. I drove to Japan. I drove back. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did like you know the Google eyes Godzilla. It, it's 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 jarring at first, but I like the the evolution part of it. The evolution you know, not is cool. to offend anyone who's. I mean, because that's you know, watch out now. That's rated R. This, this ain't paganism here. Because that's rated R. That's rated R. I did like. I actually did enjoy that more because at the start it's hilarious. The googly eyes are just. It's 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 not. You can't look past it. No, like, you can't you, look. You past can't it. be no. like, oh, okay, you know, that's that's just regular eyes. No, because <laughs> <laughs> they're not just. Yeah, because oh, they they be doing like yeah, Google they stuff, like they they're doing like that. They didn't just do that. Yeah, they are doing the googly eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we're here, we're here. Yeah. I, I I like the evolution. It's it's getting arms. And they're get- all they're all thrown. I also liked when uh, the president they going, hey, don't tell them that it doesn't have what what was the thing? Don't tell them about. Like, only give them the information that we know. That's right. And then he said something about like. Hey, it will never come back. Like it won't reach this part, or we won't do this. And then it did, and it did in the meeting. Why oh, they say that? Excuse, excuse me, sir. Uh, that is, Godzilla has it's it, it's breached the, it's breached the outer defenses. <laughs> that's oh, the oh. that's the other satirical yeah. things. Like See, heads would be saying stuff, then man passes in papers. Like, oh, uh, yeah, that's 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 immediately changed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or all my presumptions were one hundred percent incorrect. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the, he dies. You know what's wild? Prime Minister, and all the heads just. Die in a helicopter crash. But that's a, that's the wild thing, dude. When that scene happens, I'm just like, I just went like that because Godzilla does like Godzilla things. Yeah, and then is that when like the spikes? That's when they uh, they have to move from their current base yeah. because it's in the path of Godzilla. 
Yes. And so they go, hey, you take the helicopter. We're going to take the, we're going to, you know, we're walking here. We're on the streets. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So things are going was, wild. Things are going wild. Yeah. And that's when they just get pieced up. Just their, their helicopter go up and go down. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, what goes up, you know? Exactly. Before we get into the rating, I just want to say that atomic breath scene, and this is a very much like, this is a part where it looks like it could be fresh out of, of a page of a comic book. When there's just a fire booming through the city. Yeah, there's, there's just, it looks just like sound waves. And then there's fire and then there's the, the oh man. But then it's like the, the whole city is getting lit up and you see like the almost silhouette of Godzilla with the little red bits and Dude, stuff some, on him. Some, some of the shots in this movie were great. I also really liked the way that they had the, I, I don't know, I guess you call them establishing shots where it's just shots of like streets and there's crazy, like Godzilla's gone. And then there's just, there's just ones where Godzilla's gone or he's stationary for the mm. minute. He's you know he's taking he's going he's taking smoko, <laughs> and it's just the city of Tokyo, and then there's Godzilla there, and it's like you know somewhat sunrise or sunset. Mm. Some of those shots were unreal, and I liked them more in the beginning of the movie because at the, towards the end of the movie they had weird. I feel like they had weird music choices. Bum, Did you bum, notice bum, that? Bum. Not that one. Not that one. I'm saying there was a a point where they're getting all the we got to get the coagulants to get the the yeah, you know the, right. the pipes and things like that. They had some. <laughs> I don't know rock mu- music, yeah, for a montage, and that I, I felt like they that was, did do that. Mm. There was there, there was a scene when they're all like walking through places when when the Japanese person and the American liaison start speaking English. Yeah, like when they're, all in they're that walking, space. they're walking in some some facility. They've got like suits on. They look like they're about to go to space. They they got like like yeah like hazmat style suits on, right? Yeah, and then you don't see them ever again in the hazmat style suits or well, those you ones. S- you see, yeah, that's right. You see them in some different stuff. You see them right at the end though. What's her name? The the liaison. She's just in a suit uh, from the for the rest of the movie. Yeah, and I, then old mates in like he's got at least got a mask on. He's oh no, he does he? He's doing like speeches to the people. He's doing speeches to the people, but right, and I'm saying right at the end, end when they watch the thing happening. Yeah, yeah, when they watch the, like the anime, like you know, yeah. bloody what's what's that? What's that one where there's this like heads, like but they're heads, but they're big, and they got like their muscles hanging out. Heads, but they're big, but their muscles hanging out. It's an anime. It's very famous. Heads, but they're big. As in they're as in the people are big. Oh. And they attack on Titan. There's some attack on Titan attack action on going Titan? on, you know? Just, uh, okay, there's just yeah. like big weird things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, bum, 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 bum. bum and all bum, those bum, sorts bum. of things. That's right. Uh, let's, let's get into the, uh, the ratings of this movie and then we'll get out of here. And then we'll get out of here. That, honestly, I think it started off as a maybe five, probably a six, 6.5. Yeah, I, th- I think it, yeah. But after speaking, I think it's a 6.57. I, I, I was going to say 6.5 for me. I, as, as you said, like you, you get, you, you chop, chop some things out. It Take out a bit of the bureaucracy, put in a bit. You don't even have to put more Godzilla. You just put those yeah, scenes. Those scenes were good. The movie was two hour. It was a two hour movie. It's, it's a, it's it a was long, too long. It's there a long was some movie. really cool. A lot of the scenes felt like it was kind of core Godzilla film. Do you know what I mean? It didn't feel like it was trying to be a new Godzilla film. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It. It. And that's why I think you, you get the the you know the Godzilla recent one with uh, Brian Cranston. Yeah. That one there is, I enjoy that movie. I really like that movie, but it's very clearly a Western, it's just a Godzilla movie. Whereas these ones felt like they had a style that I can attribute to Japan. Right. Yes. And you're saying, and, and like, it is, it is simple. Like, cause the, even the, even the Godzilla, the, the Brian Cranston one, it's like, oh man, Godzilla could be evil. Nah, he good because like there's mutos, dude. There's mutos. He's taking down yeah, the you mutos. You got these fire now. flying mosquitoes. You know, no you one know? likes mosquitoes. No one likes mosquitoes. But like, you got Godzilla now. Now Godzilla's good. Godzilla goes back into the ocean. Everyone's like, ah. Oh. Oh, Whereas this movie is like Godzilla killing folk. <laughs> <laughs> I did also like the end where it was just Godzilla just there. Yeah, he's just there. He's just there. They've they pumped him for. He's just iced up. Just. Like that. I thought he was going to crash. He like crack. He's just That's there. It. That's it. That and then crazy. there's some movement at the, the very end. There's something moving. Uh, or maybe some light flickering. Yeah, maybe. I can't remember. You know, I, 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 I watched this movie a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it today. Uh, I, I'd give it about a 6.5. Yeah, I'd say 6.57. Maybe but what 6, I'd also- 6.75. You know, if I was to change the, the score slightly, I'd say that was bureaucracy- and this being the back catalogue. Talk same.